Do you think you have what it takes to become the next successful gray market dealer? Make sure to watch the announcement we made last week talking about the gray market challenge and submit your application video before August 17th for your chance to join our team. Guys, before we jump into all the action in Miami, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's get back to the video. I'm gonna challenge you to sell something that's sort of within your realm, but outside of your realm, right? And it's two weeks. All these, I take these watches off my website, off my social media. I don't have them. Technically, they're yours and you get to sell them. We have a great relationship with the boys over at TPT in Miami. We consider them friends and colleagues just the same. And I thought I'd spice things up a little bit and throw a challenge at them. And I decided to go with Richard Mill because this is what you guys do anyway, but I went with the two and the three in platinum. Obviously, the two and three in platinum are the rarest one of them all. They made a lot less of them. Yes. And oddly enough, they were technically worse sellers in the beginning because they were heavier. I mean, this is Renault de Papi. If you, know, if you notice, you guys have concepts before. So you notice the, the selectors on the dials, right? So that's that's what they introduced. The Renault and Papi for AP, actually right. They introduced the selector in the concept, the Elecrite concept. And then we went on with it through all the other concepts. And then around the same time, because they came out about half a year apart, these two watches, he literally took the same thing and did it for the richer meals. Uh, you both are looking like, Neil is like, whatever. Easy, easy right? <laughs> easy. He's like, whatever, this is easy. Why not take a couple of million dollars worth of stuff, hand it to them and say, hey guys, you got two weeks to sell this. I picked something that was somewhat within their realm, i.e. two Richard Meals. However, not the latest and greatest Richard Meals, Richard Meals that have now been discontinued. But then I also had to throw in a unicorn. One with a little bit of history. I couldn't make this easy. So the next watch is something that might be within your realm, right? In terms of what it looks like. However, this is a watch with a story. This is a famous watch, if you will. It's been exposed somewhat, right? But at a different price level. It's a watch that resells for $1,650,000, and it's a watch you'll probably recognize once I pull it out of this box, because this watch has been shown by such certain individuals. Ready? Here. All right. Is that Jacob and Co? No. Sean knows what that watch is. All right, well, I'm kind of stunned, to be honest with you. <laughs> I didn't know this was still in circulation, to be honest with you. I, I, own, I own it now. I was under the impression it went to a private collector, but there it is. Uh, so a million six fifty retail GP Turb. It's a triple bridge. It's a triple bridge Turbia, full baguette, PC PC unique. So the retail one is a million six fifty. The price point that it's at, which I'll tell you in a second, is a lot different than what it was, because originally I said I voiced what I felt that watch was worth, and eventually came to me at the price that I wanted. Yes. So. The one thing yeah. you want to know about that watch is it's uh, the triple bridge tourbillon from GP is a pretty iconic complication. Uh, nobody has executed a tourbillon like them in the triple bridge combo. Uh, they've had single bridges, double bridges, triple bridge tourbillons. But it's a bit of a challenge because it's a very shiny watch. The upside to it is probably one of the best looking diamond watches out there. It's a very good looking watch. So it's not just, it's gaudy, uh, but it's still... <laughs> it, it, it's, Alex, received, uh, it's received quite a bit of marketing and publicity. And but here's the thing is that with a watch like that, it's about price point. I think we can do it. So there's your challenge. We're going to cut the cameras off and then you're gonna go over to TPT channels. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and watch their upcoming YouTube videos as they try to, well, the Richard Mille should be a slam dunk, but watch them try to sell that GP. It should be fairly entertaining. The sales guys back at the office are gonna say, what the <laughs> f <laughs> going How did you end up with this? Yeah. I have no doubt they'll be successful in selling all three pieces and time will show. We are headed to Hype Miami, my son's store. I want to see the progress of the build. I'm hoping to see something, not just empty walls, so we'll go check it out. I brought all the kids, yourself included. Yeah, Literally right. old enough to be everybody's dad here. I mean, not together. Not collectively, <laughs> just, just one by one. Yes, first time in Miami. Nina 2.0. Then there's that guy. Uh, we're here. And of course, Marcus is not. I have my Londa Lumen. But I do have a Miami watch in my backpack. We'll show that later. <laughs> 1803. Arthur Shirt, big fan of Arthur. One of my favorite cartoons when I was younger. Kids. Roman, Roman needs to learn a little bit from my fashion. He's, you know. Hey, today was race day, and Mercedes got 
P2 and P3. We're double podium today, all right? And I'm representing my team. How you doing? You want to play? Yo! Oh, it's easy. It smells like fresh lumber in here. Oh, this is nice. So the Tiki sand things? Yeah, there, I, have all the, there, I have all the beams that are going to... Uh, they're all back there, but. Probably the highlight of the trip was stopping by and seeing the progress of my son Marcus's new store, which was about 85% complete. By the way, shameless plug, if you are in the area, August 20th is the grand opening. It'll be a great party. I am going to be there. Uh, some of my staff is going to be there as well. So if you want to come out, say hello and support Junior in his new business venture, that would be greatly appreciated. August 20th, Coconut Grove. In either case, I've always been proud of my son. The older your children get and the more they're able to accomplish in their lifetime, it makes you feel extremely, extremely proud. And physically walking into that store that's almost done, knowing that his latest project is almost complete, it both brought almost tears to my eyes, as well as a sense of pride that was really overwhelming. Basically, yeah, I think that they just lined it up so that has one on the bottom and then one on the top. So what's what's back there? Because I see some electrical stuff. What, this? Yeah. We're going to have a big decal here, but I, I don't think we're going to have it be lit, lit Wait, up. They wired this. So is this already here? Yeah, this is already here. Oh. They didn't wire that. This is a T-Mobile. So they oh, have, they had the whole, they they had the whole like idea. fixture on there with all the... These are all the, the beams that they're going to paint to look like it's marble. Oh, it's not actually marble. And then... It would be a bitch to move if they were. Well, inexpensive. When is this stuff coming in? The build out? I'll show you a prototype. But no, this is like... It looks a little tacky, but what they're going to do is basically just build structures like from here up. So it looks like it's like a huge thing, so it doesn't look like... Oh, let's somebody, take take off, somebody take off a shoe. Yeah. Let's go. I don't think it's on. The lights are turned on. Let's, does this plug work? Ah, uh, that could be the problem. Activate it. Alright, well, scratch the idea we're doing something else for the show. <laughs> I mean, hang a bus <laughs> What did you want to film? We just did. We just did it. That's it? Alright. <laughs> Peace. I am super proud. Number one and number two, we're heading over to meet a new client that we actually just picked up, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks uh, ago. He said when you guys are in Miami, stop by. I think he might get more than what he bargained for. And Alex told him we're rolling with like six people, but hey, we'll see. Content, right? This is yours. I think I'm gonna put it on this. What? I don't know. So somebody did uh, one of these we bought. Somebody put one black and one. I saw. Gold. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I see you buy gold. I just bought a ton of gold, and gold is not doing what it's supposed to do. All logically speaking, looking at all the markets and the economy, it should be it should be 2,500, but it's not. I don't understand why. But again, I was telling Alex, you know, this matters. Because this is not necessarily an investment. This is not it's a hedge. A For me, it was always a hedge, you know. But but I figured if it hits twenty five hundred this time, I'll, last time it hit what twenty? What was the highest? Twenty four? Yeah. I sold it. And I, bought, yeah. I sold it. I bought back. And then you you jump in, you jump out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure, I understand. But that. I, I, I'm like you. I like to buy it physically because I think the paper gold. Gold came up in conversation and I uh, basically came to a conclusion with this gentleman that the markets aren't really doing what they're supposed to be doing. In a regular scenario right now, gold should probably be hitting 2,500 an ounce and it hasn't. I've always been buying gold. I was actually anticipating that jump and it hasn't happened. So it's always nice to get a fresh opinion from someone else that's intelligent to be able to give you perhaps an outlook that you have not considered. The guys from AP gave me two deployments. That's nice to mess around with. These are nice. Okay. And I said, okay, the, you know, that's a... My problem is, is my wrist is a bit smaller, so I tend to go for tang buckles. They're more, because otherwise this eats into like the side of my wrist. So, although the new one is not. The older ones used to eat into the side of my wrist. This is nice, actually. Look, look at the size of your wrist in the mine, and I'm just buying a f <laughs> platinum brick. You think I really give a sh He's literally, he's got about he's, the size. He's literally got this on his wrist. Yeah. <laughs> I had a uh, thousand ounce bars and I sold silver when I think it hit 27 to 28 just recently. Right. My, my average cost in it was 16. One, two, three, four. Okay. So these are for your kids. Oh, thank you. These are 2016. You can speak and, and read. Oh, I need my glasses for this. I know what these are, but I need to read, to, to read them, I need my glasses. Национальный банк Украины. 
1 hryvnia. So this is one Ukrainian dollar, quote unquote, which is hryvnia. So this is Archangel Michael. Yep, uh, uh, And this is, so this is, you know how we have silver dollars? So this is from 2016 from Ukraine. So I am gonna give this to my, thank you. I'm gonna give these to And then this is for you. This is a 2021. Yeah. This is the last year they made this before the war started. Wow. National Bank of Ukraine. And hopefully they continue to make them in 22 and 23. Well, here, here's a bonus one. These are the Israeli Tree of Lives. Oh. They come out every year. So I buy one of those every year for Thank every you. person that I know who has a child who is Jewish or Israeli, just so I can give them. And the, look, they don't cost a lot. Thank you, buddy. Of course. Thank you. How's the break? And awesome. He's, he's, he's been what he's been saying. He's been wearing it for a while. <laughs> yeah, no, I showed you guys. I mean, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. Like don't it. get me wrong. It's heavy. It is heavy. You look in very good shape, by the way. I lost 12 pounds. You look. I'm just saying. He's not gonna stop talking. About you already showed me the watches. <laughs> you still owe me an AP. However, I still will tell you a nice thing that you do look, you do look very good. Thank you so much. I appreciate you that. Do. I, I really appreciate you having us by. Of course. No, no, no. And I appreciate you guys coming by. I know you guys have a million things to do and this is a huge week for you and for you guys to even you know physically hand deliver this to to meet me so we can continue to do stuff so i do i do want to say it's i appreciate that no, it's a pleasure and i appreciate your business thank you so much all right guys thank let's you. go gang <laughs> get the hell out of my house <laughs> i love meeting you guys face to face the benefit of being an online company is we sell a lot more than a regular mom and pop store but certainly don't get to meet and greet a lot of people. So while in Miami, it was actually a huge pleasure to meet a client, a new client, a new friend, I should say, uh, face to face. I think we talked more about F1 than we did about watches, to be honest with you. But anyway, it makes me feel just awesome inside. Thanks to our host, enjoyed uh, your company very, very much. And we'll see you soon shortly. We are off to the races here at IWJG Miami. The room is full of excitement. People are excited to see us because we are gray market. I would like to do a million plus at the show. We shall see. Smaller shows are usually better for us because I'd rather have less competition at the show. Oh, Adrian, this was, this was the trump card, right? Towards the end of the month, when I leave here, you guys are gonna be far behind. Alex is on his way. Alex had a rough night last night, which I don't blame. This is what happens when you take kids to Miami. Uh, I think it's new. How much? Uh, well, not. No, it is. It's 34,000, it's brand new. 2022? Yeah. All right, I'll call my customer and get back to that. And then this uh, Rose Olive? The one with the diamonds? Uh, no, no, no. Well, no diamonds. Yeah. You know what? 60,000. 60,000? 60, yep. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your video. Oh, thank you. Your wrist, my friend. Uh, I don't know, nothing, nothing crazy. This one? Yes. Ten five. I'll sell it to you for thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. And the pink one? It's fourteen five. Fourteen five. Yeah. Thank you, Roman. Oh, Alex, do you, uh, what are we selling uh, the these for? The plane. Yeah, eleven, eleven, eleven five. five on a on a plane and fourteen five on a food. If she wants an oyster, something you can get or? I mean, yeah. It's, you guys are luxury before. Yeah, luxury before. You are luxury before. Yeah. Okay. The entire watches are looking at you. Yeah, because I like to look at my watches. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, how much for this tea? This one, 25. Box and paper, everything else? Yes, yes. It's new. What's the date on it? It's new. Yeah. What the best can you do? 25. This is 25, and then I can go. Where's the other one? You said there was another one? Let's go look. This one? My cost is, I'm telling you, 25, because I want to get rid of it. So I can, give, I can give you both for 50. I'll take both. Okay, so this one and that one. This one, 26. 26? Yeah. You have the used one? Uh, Frame rate? Yeah. No, not that one. Not that one, no. I'm getting old and blind. This one, box papers. 24, I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, this one? 50, 65, that's 48. Yeah, box paper, but strap cut. You, in, in Dubai, it's 50 plus for these. It's brand new. They just cut the strap. Okay, I put it on the side. How do we do it? Quantity. Uh, I'll sell to you for 29. It's de decent condition. You know, I was telling uh, uh, Abdullah, I was telling I want to buy from yours uh, and the stuff that doesn't sell there. Because for you guys, longer is in. For me, it's good. So, offer me. Oh, longer, MBNF, DB Tune. All this, 
All this shit in Dubai you can buy cheap. This no? This no. Uh, so far, two APs in a paddock. We lost money on two APs, made money on a paddock. Sometimes you gotta move out of stuff that needs to be moved out of. I'll just take the invoice for the... Sure, I got you guys. Thank you. And then you let me know in the paddock, I put it on the side. Sure. Okay, I'm sorry. IT it looks like it's mugshot. <laughs> He's been through some Yeah, it looks like I've been through hell. Welcome to Miami. Woo! What may I so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What is that? What? Is this? Look at this photo. Is that not a five star photo? That is a Broadway oh, player face. That, that literally looks. I like think it was falling. It looks like you got caught masturbating like right as you finished. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I might have been masturbating. This is what we've come to. I've never, I've never gotten like a good picture here. And today was the day I was like, all right, I'm gonna open my eyes. I'm gonna like smile. And I was aware, and then it looks like I'm mid. -sh I, got, I got this. I'll take you got this. Yeah. Well, I tried selling my first watch and I broke the board. Try to sell this first watch, you broke it. I broke nah. it. Yeah. So, what are we, uh, what are we, 13.5? 13, 13, 13, See, being a watch dealer, you want to communicate, you know. Um, I don't have this, I don't have this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're here live at IWJG, coming at you live, the crowd. The place is booming with people. It's busy. I've had a line in my booth for the last two and a half hours. If you look around, look at all these people standing around and doing absolutely nothing. Look, look at all these people. And it just so happened that my dear friend, Georgia Mondani, happened to be in town. She was there actually on vacation with her husband and two children. I have to ask you two questions. Number one, how do you see dealers in Europe repricing to make up for the fact that the euro is low? Or are they sticking to their pricing? I think they are sticking to the prices because they just can't. They bought it expensive, so they already have a lot of troubles because they bought a lot of stock because the market was going very, very well, even too well. I remember that I came here to the United States and I shopped a lot and it was amazing to buy lots of stuff and now it's impossible to buy for us. Uh, so now everything is stuck and honestly I think it's correct because it was too hyped before so now we just need time to, to get everything stabilized. People think of the whole market dump but it's really not. If you have those top top stocks those are the ones that took a dump but everything else is sort of steady but the issue is that the mood is not the same, you know, dealers don't want to buy as much. The mood is not the same, it completely changed. Uh, before there was this euphoria, there was the speculation, people wanted to, to make money easily. Now there is panic. We have several kinds of markets, as you said. Mm -hmm. We have the markets of the true collectors that buy vintage, that buy uh, collectible items, uh, and that market uh, uh, hasn't changed at all. Collectors are still there, still exist, auctions are still going well, Yes. and there is the market of the new fake dealers, the speculators. We call them Corona dealers here. Car corona, corona, corona dealers. dealers. <laughs> yeah, we have the Corona dealers or the flippers, <laughs> and that market is going down, and that's correct, and I'm happy going down. Me too. So, Georgia has the trusted Mandani web, right? She has, she has, a, she has a, as we call it, a circle of trusted dealers or Mandani trusted dealers, right? And I guarantee you that those guys were here last year, they'll be here this year, and they'll be here next year. Buy the deal and not the watch, right? Watches can still be an investment. You need to know how to choose them, absolutely. And is I receive like 1,000 messages per day on Instagram saying, is this a good investment? If I buy this at 60,000, is it good? They I hate only those. care about money. <laughs> it's about a problem. About having a watch that uh, increases in value. They don't care anymore of having a nice watch on the wrist. For example, this one, I paid 10,000 euros, okay? One year ago, I don't remember when. Um, I was offered 40,000 euros before Christmas because it went super high. And I said, no, I don't care. You buy what you like. 30,000 euros, okay? It's huge, but I like it. I like to wear it, who cares? I'll remind you, so Georgia comes I think the one of the first trade shows in Miami, this was years back. Yeah. This is when, remember when the James Cameron came out? Yeah. So you said to me, you said, if you find one for 10,000, I want to buy it. So I found one for 10,000. She bought it. That watch is still worth 16, 17,000 dollars, right? So it's still up almost double. Absolutely. She doesn't look at it from a money perspective. So what she just said, that's what you need to listen to. You buy what you like. Get away from the monetary value first and foremost, get into the horological value. Keep in mind that yes, these things have, become commodities, if you will. I, I always hated that, but they have. So you can buy wisely, but 
the driving factor shouldn't be the money, it should be the watch. Absolutely. And, and you really need it. knowledge. Georgia, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Robert. And we will see you. Uh, go shop, go spend. Well, actually, shop I'll around. I'll bring you the kids. I'll bring you the kids. Bring me the kids. No, no problem. Bring, bring them. them. Look, I have all these kids here. They can babysit. <laughs> Uh, this one is 9,000. It's decent condition, actually, for its age. It's older than you. Actually, it's probably older than both of you together. <laughs> you mean the middle? 8,800. That's, that's 10%. I don't want to make less than 10%. I need breakfast today. I need food for breakfast. Okay, so then 89. And I'll buy you breakfast. <laughs> 88 is a lucky number. There you go. 88. At that price, I mean, it can sit. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, and it's not, I just got it recently, so I'm not, I'm not in a rush. I can retail for 11, 12, so it's not a big deal. How is this right now? I mean, I have a huge retail business, so for me, it's like I never counted on the wholesale. People are buying and reselling to each other. Price kept climbing and climbing and climbing, and fucking people are just throwing outrageous numbers out there. You weren't stocking like Batman's Hulk, Saitona's, I guess because I, you're still I was, trading I stock. stock my thing no, is, like, well, let's say like around April time when it was like bad, like in that time. I, see, the problem is, is that my inventory moves, we sell 15 million a month. So for me, my inventory moves fast enough to where it's just a question of where did I get caught? Put it this way, the losses I had to take made up less than 2% of my inventory. So, and I took my losses quickly and I just, and I bought the same shit over, just cheaper. So I still have Batmans, I still have I, I have all that stuff. It's just price different. It's not a really hard formula. The problem is, is that a lot of people are going to be stubborn and they I'm can't. They, I, I have my own shit. I don't want to lose something. Like, I'll well, take, like, then, then you're an idiot. You should I'm very, sell it. It's hard. It's hard Why? For me, like, Why is it hard? I can't, a lot Can I ask you a question? Me. It's hard. Can I ask you a question? In the last year and a half, did you not make the most money you've ever made in this business? Yes. So take those gains and put them against the losses and, and move on. Otherwise, you're going to be you're going to be standing still. You're not going to be doing business. You have to buy right now. Right now is the time to buy. So if you don't, if you can't afford because you're sitting on inventory that's overpriced, sell it and, and buy the same shit over just 30 30 percent cheaper. Buy the same Batman 30 40 percent cheaper and make your same margin. Same shit. It's, don't look at watches. Look at numbers. Dollars. Look at dollars. You can't be stubborn. All right. I got a two-tone royal oak from the 90s, early 2000s, so the really cool white Roman dial. Cool, you know, no pun intended, but uh, yeah, it was a good pickup. I'm taking footage for a reel that I just recorded with Georgia Mondani, who was so sweet. I finally got to meet her. I didn't know who she knew who I was, but um, yeah, she just was over here talking to Roman and said, let's do a reel. So I said, let's go. And she picked out her favorite watches at you know, luxury bazaar, so I'm just taking my good old content as I do, but this time in Miami. No, Juan. It's been a long time, been a long time, bro. Long time. Been a long time. You, look, you look good, you look good, you lost some weight. Oh, how are you, man? How are you? Uh, I will sell you the watch for 60,000. 13,000. If you want, we can trade. I know you, have, you still have those longers, we can trade. So this one is a piece unique, minute repeater tourbillon. It's it's piece unique. Retail, you know, on this, six hundred eighty-five thousand. Piece unique, minute repeater tourbillon. For you, I'll do one eighty, or we can trade. We can still trade for something. Oh, careful, 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 please. Yachtmaster two steel sold. Batman sold. Pepsi Jubilee sold. White Gold Day just sold. Breguet Classic sold. Brigade sold. That's it for now. But we're off to a good start. Let's go. I've talked to a lot of young dealers in regards to diversity. Outside of watches, we sell a ton of jewelry. I had a conversation with Sean prior to the show, and I asked him, I said, look, I know you have a lot of clientele that comes in, and they look for some trendy things. One of the most trendy things out there for both males and females today are Cartier love braces. Hello. What's going on? How are you? How you been? So good. So good. Here. Wow. I brought to the tune of 30 love braces for them to choose from. Uh, look through it, the price is on the, on, the, on the box. Nice, thank you. Have fun. Wow, this is what you call a care package. We work together. The competition that is good to us and we consider friends, we always will work with them rather than against them. Well, this is a trade show where you buy and sell. We sold some stuff, we also should buy some stuff. So, brother, how are you? I can't complain. Didn't have one of these, so what a sky dweller. I'm gonna go see our boys at TPT. Ne never trust a Bohemian. <laughs> I'm actually not Bohemian. <laughs> I know you're not. I'm learning. 
just a random graph watch. Like, like how? How does that? How does that even fit into the fucking mix? Like, Richard Mille, Royal Oak, Rolex, graph. Sold a ton of those actually, though. Forget about counting the watches. Just count them this way. This is it, baby. <laughs> Write the how's check business? and I'll how's, build it. How's, how's business? business? Well, it started out bad. It progressively got worse. All right. <laughs> <laughs> how much is that? Whatever you want to make it. Hey, forty-five thousand today. Forty-four. Forty-three. I have 43 and a half. We had to get 44, <laughs> we had 42 and a half to make you laugh. Come on, box, papers, serial numbers. Oh, you got serial numbers? Oh, well, it's a win win. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> You're the best. I was only teasing. Business is wonderful. I agree. I'm the, I feel the same. How you been, man? Oh, I can't complain. If I did, nobody would listen. I sell you a lot. A group. I mean, you're Probably case. not. Probably. Got that, about the only person left in the room has got a big thing. 95. Last show I paid 105. We had a little dip. I, I paid 110. <laughs> 95,000 today. God bless America. I bought one cheaper. How much? What? Yeah, but mine's got numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Please take. Bro, I just sold it for forty thousand. You're into it yours for naked. No, well, your so is yours. No, our paper. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's fifty-five dollars. <laughs> Boys, finish lunch. Maybe we we'll trade for some. Shit. I don't know. Because you're my guy. I'm gonna give this to you at my cost. And speaking of diversity, you guys remember Nazar, right? He's one of those young kids that bugged the crap out of me. He wanted to get into the business. He did, and he did so successfully. He's still here. He's still around. You're gonna see what I'm selling on, on a website for, right. and you're gonna try to sell it for the same thing. We'll chop up the profit. This is a challenge, oh, yeah. right? This is not this is not an easy thing to sell. I said I'm gonna pick a couple of pieces in my showcase that are not your cup of tea, that are not easy sells, that are not dunks or layups, but that will bring in a certain type of retail client. This is what I paid. This right. is this is wholesale here, right? Okay. And on the website, it's full. It's up there for a little more. Let me let me just try one of them. Let me try this. Want to try this one? Yeah. Let me All right. Take a little. Time. All right. So try one, see how that goes. Exactly. And but we'll but that, going like that but that what that allows you to do, and I've told you this numerous times. You have access to all of my inventory, which means you can you can advertise to your potential clients that look, I have access to all the stuff. But the only way you're going to get a client for something like this is to have it's something like this. Yeah. But you're stuck in that easier side of things. Exactly. Rolex, That's AP, awesome. popular yeah. stuff, don't it's be. I to stay a little bit more liquid, you know. When you I, underst off, I understand, I understand, but um, you're not you're not gonna sell an MBNF without having an MBNF, right? Exactly. But how else are you going to expand your clientele? How else are you going to learn about different shit, you know? Yeah. So that's that's really what it's about. Anyway. All right, what do you got? You got one, two, three. Alex, so this, we're going to... Cameron, do you want to take it or no? Okay. What would you say again? Uh, 16. Could you 15 on that? And What's close? On okay, that's fine. Deal. Here we go, the Mazal picking up a sub 41 with date. Picking up the Classic Explorer 2, polar dial. And the Invicta of Rolex is the deep sea sea dweller, James Cameron. And we're picking up a platinum paddock that he has hidden over there for some odd reason. Oh, you're gonna sell this? Yeah, Roman gave it to me to try and sell. We're gonna try and sell this paddock. It's in platinum, looks weird, but we'll sell it. We just picked up a rare Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Turbion in platinum with a gradient gray dial. Look at this piece of beauty. It sits heavy on the wrist. It's unmistakably platinum because it's got like a, a grayish hue and because of the dial, obviously. And I'm biased because I, AP is my favorite brand. So, you know, I never met an AP I didn't like. I'm about to make a deal on probably what's, what would be the most undervalued watch on the market today. IWC Grand Complication. Minute repeater, perpetual calendar chrono. But first, these are notorious for breaking. I really have to check the watch. So we're gonna get out the bifocals. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm at that show. Do you want to sell it or do you want to pawn it? <laughs> yes. No. How did you come up with like the name Luxury Bazaar? Like, did you just did you make it up? So so I did make that name up. Okay. I came up with that and I came up with the slogan, a place where nothing is ordinary, because I feel like I'm pretty not ordinary. Yeah, definitely. Not normal, what most people call me, but long story short, the, the big dream was always to do 
wanted to be I have a platform of luxury because remember at the time e-commerce was new none, none of this existed so I wanted to be like watches jewelry boats houses cars uh, planes helicopters yeah. like any fancy art and the slogan too a place where nothing is ordinary i.e. like extraordinary stuff so right. you know it's been a, AKA the, F1 AKA the F1 car that's coming soon. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, sh so no, it's, it should be delivered first week of uh, August. Really? That's yeah. Oh. Finally. Yeah. I owe you some money. Let me give you a check. Which one was it, Danny? It was this, no? This one? Yeah. All right. And we'll send you the archives for that one. Awesome. Yeah. That's so sick. Yo, I bought it. Three seconds later, somebody wanted to buy this. I was like, you want to throw it? I'm like, no. It's the Marcus edition ultra. Marcus needs to buy this. Should I give this for my son? Oh, <laughs> Marcus. Yeah. It's pretty sick, like stupid clean. Hold on, can I leave these here Let's put the number so I don't forget. Let's see if it oh, will let me buy it. Remember, can I buy it? No. Right. You're not allowed to buy anything until you buy a house. <laughs> At 95, we can trade with that. The Polaris, let me see. I bought it's one. It's the cheapest one. It's the cheapest one you'll see. Nah, it's not the cheapest one. You know, I just had the memo box version and I sold it for four retail yeah. and it retails for double that. You want how much for it? 8500 Okay, also, I will trade at that price. Right. Hey, you guys are going to pick something, I don't care. It, it becomes like a given every time I see Felix and Kareem from Watch Hospital. Somehow, somewhere, no matter the market, no matter how slow things are, we always do a piece of business. At six, I will trade it. Hold on, I'm not done. I am not finished. How much is this? 17 I know. I buy it cheaper. How much is this? No, that's a tough one. That's a tough one for me. Is this cheap? 36. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Is vintage with a B or a V? Vintage. He said, do you want vintage? This is in Florida. It's North Cuba, bro. I know, I know. You want this? You want this? I think I have one. Box papers? It's coming, yeah. I would trade this too. What is this? Elton John. Oy, 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 oy. Elton John. Sir Elton John. Buckle original? I can't see. How is this original? I'll, you want to gamble? I'll bet you the strap is not original. He might say it's original. I'll bet you the watch is not. This? It's old. PP Lizard. But it's an old one. It's an old one. How old do you think it is? The strap is had those bands. Well, it, it must be older than the watch because no damn way yeah, they made yeah, this yeah. one. We just didn't have any 25 other straps. Years. So it's a collectible. It's strap, it's, yeah. it, so it's an antique strap. <laughs> it's got to be worth more money. Okay, I'll trade with this too. You got to make me invoice for this. And I want box paper. Maybe bring to me tomorrow. It'll be easier. All right, guys, see what I have. Technically, it's trades. But in reality, I, I walk over, buy some things. They walk over, buy some things. Antonio Banderas. 9,000. That's cars? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's new. Okay, this one. Uh, Your dad wanted the Harry Winston's. The gold and the black. How much is the gold? I told him 18,000 on the gold. Okay, so why 15, so 15, so. But you f***ed up, bro. What are you talking why? about? It's yeah. more. I took out the 10, no. No, but it's, but what about the Pam? No, you don't want it for, for, for 10,000. Again, if, it, if we're trading, it depends. It may okay, make okay, sense. Okay. So 10,000 plus 6,000 minus 10, 8, minus 9, 25, 2. Okay. So this one, I can sell you 18. What else you have? Not Rolex. Look, bro, I, I don't want to push it your way, you know what I mean? Like, I want you to buy what you want to buy. I don't want to be like, you know what I mean? I mean, there's some shit I want to get rid of, obviously, but... Uh, every watch in the showcase. 18. We still have that. Then we got that much. I told him if, if the trade works out, I'm taking it. What about this? Pretty much no money exchanges hands or maybe a small amount. This, I'll, I'll give you 28,000. I'm already giving you a cheap price. I'm not giving you some. I'm not giving you a street price. I'm giving you a cheap price. There's always like a setting problem. Seventeen thousand. Don't say no. But at the end of the day, we are the, we end up doing about hundred k in business together. It was a slow one. We're at about three hundred and change. We need to sell a million here. And once we do, I do have some jewelry cooking with the TPT boys, so that could be a couple of hundred grand. So we'll see. That was day one of IWJG. Things are slow because it's the slowest show of the season. However, you're gonna have to stay tuned till next week where we show you the rest of IWJG along with some other really, really cool content that we shot that includes some really, really fast and expensive cars. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, hit whatever other buttons that you guys hit that help our channel grow. I appreciate you tuning in once more and I'll see you next week.